Thank you, JC. The Heron Police Department will work with the school district to provide a full time school resource officer for students. District Superintendent Nathaniel Wilson says it doesn't just protect students and faculty. It also promotes a good relationship within the community. News 3's Rachel Gardner has more from Heron. Of course, it's ideal to have a school resource officer during pickup and drop off times for traffic control. But here in Heron, you can find Officer McFerrin at any one of the four district schools at any time throughout the day. There is no routine, but Heron Police Officer Keith McFerrin does have a checklist he goes through during the day. Check the doors and make sure there's, there's no problems with that. And when the kids get in school in the mornings, you know, the schools are secured to make sure they stay safe and nobody else that shouldn't be in the schools doesn't get in the school. McFerrin has been an officer for 22 years and went through additional SRO training this summer, specialized for this particular job. To make sure we're familiar with the environment and everybody knows, you know, in every situation that there may arise that, you know, how to get in the doors, you know, where, where there may be a threat at, you know, to try to get to that to keep our kids safe. Which Heron District Superintendent Nathaniel Wilson says is valuable within the schools. A lot of the training that the officer receives is, is something that um, we now have in our buildings and can point out some things to us maybe we weren't uh, knowledgeable about before. Wilson says not only does that strengthen the school's security, but also the district's relationship with other important entities within the community. I mean, it's kind of a win-win thing, so it's more about building a program and not just about the officer itself in our buildings. Wilson says the security program is always evolving. And in addition to the SRO, there are plans to include hall monitors and security equipment upgrades in the near future. In Heron, Rachel Gartner, News 3.